So, what's up everyone? Mark Lobliner here with Generation Iron Muscle Rants. Overtraining, you see it all the time. Oh, you're gonna overtrain, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. At the end of the day, overtraining does exist. However, it is a chronic issue to do with your central nervous system. You have boxers going for hours, eight hours, nine hours a day training, six to seven days a week getting ready for a match. And yet they don't talk about overtraining. You have bodybuilders who go for one to two hours, sitting down between sets, lifting weights, talk about overtraining. Chances are they're not overtraining. What it is, I'm not saying you have to dive in, going full, huge volume on everything, but if you work your way up, for example, you start at 10 sets, go to 11 sets, go to 12 sets, and so on and so on and so on, your body has something called forced adaptation, where you will adapt. So it's not a muscular issue. Being sore is not overtraining. There is overreaching, but overtraining is a long-term issue that will take a long time to fix, and I'm pretty sure you guys aren't training hard enough to reach that. So next time you think you're overtrained or your joints hurt, your joints hurt. You might need some time off. Heck, two or three days or even a week of deloading and going with less weights and less volume, that might be a great thing for you. But just to be clear, that's not overtraining. That's just needing a little break from training to recover a little bit more. I'm Mark Lobliner, Muscle Rants, Generation Iron. That's not a game. He's big. He was a real tall guy. I knocked him off. The chair went back like this. And I jumped on top of him and started choking him and hitting him. And uh, let me tell you something. D. Schneider jumped on top of me and threw me a beating you wouldn't fucking believe. I mean, he had me. He was punching me in the face. The bouncers came. They kicked my fucking ass.